T-6410 carrying Russian troops explodes in an artillery attack of Ukraine one sector of one front of a wider war that's grinding into its eighth month isn't indicative of much but watch closely the below video depicting volunteers from the Republic of Georgia riding into battle atop 1864 tank infantry rolling into an assault on top of a tank is an old tactic called tank and many modern armies in particular the U.S. Army mostly have abandoned the tactic as being too risky for the infantry that the Georgian Legion in Ukraine has adapted the practice is something important about their capacity for risk deaths to say their regression as Ukrainian forces barreled toward victory in southern Ukraine thank you since the first tank rolled into combat with the British Army during the Battle of the Somme in September 1916 tanks and infantry have worked together the tanks armor clad firepower helps to smash enemy defenses and terrify enemy troops the infantry screen the tanks from ambush and fill and behind the lumbering vehicles to secure enemy positions the tanks clear out tanks can take anything but can hold nothing a century later effective modern armies combined tanks and infantry in the same formations but they usually travel separately music to keep pace with the tanks the infantry ride in fighting vehicles such as the Russian BMP or the American M2 the infantry usually do not ride on top of the tanks themselves despite some European armies the Soviets in particular adopting the tactic as an expedient in the 1930s and 40s when Soviet troops practiced tanked and it usually was for a lack of dedicated infantry carriers infantry are exposed and vulnerable while sitting on top of a tank within range of enemy gunfire the US Army's field Manual 728 advices against tank dance unless contact is not likely the Americans so rarely practice tank dance that they designed their main tank the M1 with a hot engine exhaust on the rear hole which relegates infantry no more than nine of them to squeezing together atop the turret for music. Ukrainian tanks such as the T-64 that Georgian Legion uses are more comfortable for infantry Ukrainian tactics clearly embrace tank dent despite the risk it's possible some Ukrainian units such as the Georgian Legion are short of good fighting vehicles it's also possible these units appreciate the simplicity directness and shock potential of tank dent in the attack consider again the video depicting Georgian Legion troopers and S-64 assaulting a Russian strong point apparently in Kirsten Oblast in southern Ukraine where Ukrainian brigades in late August launched a powerful counter-offensive, applause, while a Ukrainian drone observed from above a dozen Georgians piled onto the back hull of the T-64 and rolled toward the Russian trench the T-64 approaches apparently nearly to machine gun range the infantry dismount and lined up behind the tank. The the tank and infantry move along the dirt track toward the strong point the tank crew firing its turret mounted 12.7 mm machine gun and 125 mm main gun a shell explodes right in front of the Russian position blanketing it in dust the T-64 peels off the Georgian split into fire teams and clear the trench it all happens fast the drone watches Russian troops flee at least one crawling at least one dying a short distance away 16 Russians perished in the attack according According to the Georgian Legion and its aggression and violence the tank does an assault on a Russian position is consistent with other Ukrainian assaults we've seen on social media, in particular a shockingly vicious attack by Ukrainians riding in thin skin Humvees firing machine guns and rockets as they sped toward a Russian position in Kirkiv last last month during the early days of the Ukrainian counteroffensive in the northeast the Ukrainian army has the momentum across Ukraine and it knows that Ukrainian Commanders clearly are eager to press their advantage while they can in the last few weeks before the coming winter soaks the Ukrainian landscape likely compelling both sides to pause in place. Music. Meanwhile when Ukrainian forces launched twin counteroffenses in eastern and southern Ukraine starting in late August and early September Russian and separatist troops across the country surrendered retreated or died in place there was one major exception Russian fighters from notorious mercenary firm the Wagner Group defined the odds and befuddled observers when they not only held their ground around the free town of Bagnit and eastern Ukraine 25 miles southwest of Russian occupied Severodonetsk they kept a Attacking boy and was concluded that the Wagner assaults on Bachman which failed to gain much ground despite Russian claims to the contrary with the company's way of creating a narrative that it was the only Russian force still capable of beating the Ukrainians the idea apparently was for Wagner to trade its battlefield reputation for political influence.
influence in Moscow Wagner financier Evgeny Krigis and continues to accrue power and is setting up a military structure parallel to the Russian Armed Forces explained the Institute for the Study of War in Washington, D.C.